Hey, Flimsy Lunch Tray here, back with part two of our new player series. And in today's video, we're mostly just going to be discussing um, and navigating the port screen as is. Uh, right now, it's um, a bit bare when you start off in the beginning in the sense that you'll have a whole list of options over here uh, as you um, your level uh, in the game uh, begins to increase and you move along. So I just wanna share some things up front um, that will help you as a player in navigating and figuring out what you uh, do like and don't like perhaps uh, within the game. I mean, of course this is, you know, at this point we've only played one battle, but it's still good to understand um, certain things with how the ships uh, function and how they work. So uh, last time we played the tier one American cruiser, um, the Erie. And I'm basically just going to kind of move around the screen in general just to show you some things. So we're going to start uh, from right and go left. So when you're first looking at uh, your ship, right now um, we have, we can see that we have information regarding the ship that we have selected on right now. When I click on a different ship, this will change. Um, but then you get these... Um, Armor layout, survivability, artillery, A, defense, maneuverability, concealment. If you want to learn more about your ship, which is really important in World of Warships, at tier one, they're basically kind of all the same, and it will differentiate much more as you proceed further into the game. But you can understand such things as armor layout. Um, you have just uh, six millimeter plating. Um, you're going to see later on that this is going to increase uh, more so. Um, and getting into the higher tiers. Um, you have your side plating, um, superstructure plating, uh, your deck, your aft end. And it kind of just shows you where more of the weak vital spots are. Um, if it's in green, that usually means that the armor thickness is quite light. Um, going to yellow means it's kind of increasing. And then you have this orange, 73. Then we get the side plating that's a little bit more red. Uh, but still kind of orange, that's thicker. So the more red the color is, um, orange, that means the armor is more thicker. And then otherwise, if it's green, it means it's light. You can also click on these different things if you want to see, let's see if we want to see the vital ship part armor. So let's strip away this uh, armor. And so we can see this is the more vital part of the ship. So this means that if an enemy hits you here, um, effectively, if they have large enough caliber guns, uh, they are going to do the most damage shooting you in this area, which basically it's a little bit above a waterline, as you can see. So if you're in a tier one ship and you're shooting at um, this ship, if you're using your high explosive, um, your superstructure, if you can pin through this perhaps, but uh, armor piercing is another round um, that we'll get into uh, in the game. I'm not sure if we actually have no, we still only have uh, high explosive shells at this point in time. So it's good to kind of understand where the weaknesses are on your ship. I mean, generally, angling is the best um, because you're able to ricochet uh, shells, um, so on and so forth. You get to see survivability. This is how many hit points that your ship has. So right now we have 4,950. We have artillery. It tells us this, the caliber of the gun. So they have 152 millimeter, uh, 47 mark, 17 on a mark 18 mount so you get four by one so that means we have four guns uh, each in uh, one gun per turret and we can see our main firing range means we can go up to 9.6 kilometers you click on AA defense and uh, it shows you the type of guns that you have we have four by four 28 millimeters so if I click on this little camera it'll zoom in more where these type of guns are at shows you the continuous damage your priority sector reinforcement uh, and your firing range of your AA. These things are all gonna increase as you go up in ship tier um, by a significant portion. You also see maneuverability, what your ship's maximum speed is, your turning circle radius, um, and your rudder shift time, which 2.8 seconds is relatively, it's pretty good. Um, so that helps you to kind of understand more that you do. You might not have a ton of speed, but you have a really good turning circle radius as well as a good rudder shift time. Then you have concealment. So this will tell you four things. It'll tell you what your detectability range is by sea, uh, your detectability range by air. So 
that's would be something if there's a as you increase in levels you won't find them at tier one but an enemy carrier uh, an enemy carrier will detect you 4.7 kilometers away uh, flying in the air um, you have a sure detectability range uh, two kilometers that's for every ship in the game if there's a rock between you an island between you and another ship but you're within two kilometers of each other you'll proximity detect each other regardless um, just because you're so close um, so that's regardless all the way tier one to tier ten and then you have detectability after firing main guns in the smoke. So if you're in a smoke screen and you fire your guns, um, your detectability range is going to be 3.6 kilometers. If you don't shoot your guns, it's uh, because you're concealed, it's that 2 kilometer uh, detectability range. Someone has to get close enough to the smoke screen uh, to detect you. Unless they have other things such as hydroacoustic search or radar, but those things are going to come later in the game. We're just going to focus on the tier 1 aspects right now. You can also see how much uh, XP uh, we've earned for the ship. Use the XP earned on the ship to improve her parameters, upgrade the ship, and research next tier ships. Um, you have doubloons. Um, you can purchase doubloons in the premium shop, and then you have uh, credits. Um, so basically, credits is how you, and experience is how you buy the, your ship upgrades, um, modules, and then also buying like a tier two American cruiser as you move up the line. Um, so these two will go hand in hand together. And then while you're kind of grinding to earn that next ship, basically your, your XP earnings are increasing as well as your credits um, are increasing as well. As we got 22,761 credits from the previous battle. And again, as you go up further into the tiers, um, and especially on premium ships, uh, you earn more credits within the game. Uh, doubloons. Uh, doubloons can be used in many ways, such as purchasing a port slot. Right now we have 10 vacant slots, so we don't need to purchase um, a ship slot. You can use doubloons to purchase commanders, um, ships within the game, in the armory, which we don't have access to yet. We just have access to the premium shop uh, as is right now. Um, and then if we click on this, it's, it's going to take us to the premium shop to purchase uh, doubloons. So I'll just, for example, show you what that is. I wouldn't recommend spending any actual money on the game yet um, because you still need to learn some more things. We'll talk about the, the premium shop later on. But get a hang more for the game before you start spending uh, real life money because this is a free to play game. And you also have this uh, exchange doubloons for credits. Um, this is a bad idea. I never recommend doing this. Uh, you can exchange one doubloon for 2,000 credits. Just play a couple more games um, and you can earn the credits that you need because it's just such a bad exchange um, that I just recommend not doing it. So that's what we have there. Uh, along the top bar, we have co-op battles, so fight against bots in cooperation with other players. Sometimes you also have bots on your team as well. Um, and as we increase our level, we're going to see random battles, uh, which is the next thing we need to unlock. You're going to see operations, which is tier 6 and tier 7 ships. Um, and then you'll see when there's different game events, when you have the access level 2, you'll see those come along, um, so on and so forth. But for right now, we only have access to co-op battle. When you're ready to battle, you just click this um, battle button. Uh, divisions, if you... Uh, want to be in a division with someone, um, you can do this. Um, I'd recommend not divisioning up with someone yet unless you have like a, a good friend or something uh, until you get more hang of the game. Um, you have fjords, so we can select different ports. I like uh, fjords because I live in Norway, and so it feels quite cozy to me. Uh, then you can see our account. So we have 10 uh, notifications, uh, standard account. So we click on it. We have um, flimsy lunch tray. Uh, this is your karma, a summary of your good and bad actions. So you do really good. Someone can compliment you and this will increase. Or if someone thinks you're bad or just don't like you, um, they'll give you a negative point, um, which basically you, you always stay zero uh, from my understanding. You can never go beneath zero. Uh, it really doesn't serve any function within the game um, because since you can report or compliment other players um, unless there's someone who's saying they're being really um, misbehaving in chat um, which you'll see like in a battle 
um, and randoms, uh, then you can report them for misbehavior in chat. And then if they get enough misbehaviors in chat, more gaming might actually look at that and say, oh, this person was uh, not uh, being responsible within chat. So we're going to chat ban him for X amount of days. So you have clans. You can join or create a clan of your own. If you, um, We'll talk about clans later on. I don't want to spend time on that right now. And then news. This is actually a really good place to find out what's happening in World of Warships. Uh, you're going to have all news, and then you're going to have like um, new uh, as well. So you can see that we have uh, launch day calendar. So what ships were launched for the month of May. Um, you know, uh, they have a video on the battleship Hayuga, which is a new premium tier seven ship in the game. Uh, they've got the King of the Sea playoffs happening right now. So you have all these things. Um, uh, also, oh, we, the uh, 14 days of premium count as a gift. We can collect our gift. So that's going to be good to take advantage of right now. So now we're going to have a premium count. And you just go through, and there's only going to be uh, 10 options that you see. So we're just going to mark as red. So that's good to keep up uh, with what's going on in the game. Um, also, at the same time, uh, we have port, so we can see what's happening here uh, with the ship. You have equipment. This will show you the armament of your ship. It also show you consumables. Um, right now, we don't have more to go off of because we're only tier one. We'll talk more about this as we increase in tier. So once we get 350 experience, uh, as it's showing over here, we have 247 right now, uh, we can purchase the tier two Chester. But we also need 69,300 credits, and we have enough credits to do that right now as well. You have the tech tree. Uh, it gives you an overall layout of all the different ships that you have to grind and go through. Uh, right now, we just have access to the Japanese Tier 1 cruiser and also the German uh, Tier 1 cruiser. Um, so you can choose what line, what ship you want to go up first. And you can even right-click, see equipment, and you can preview the ship to see kind of more what's going on with it. So that's uh, pretty nice as well. And then you have your profile. So you have your access level. So ship research and upgrades, access level two, research and purchase new warships. Um, and you can view detailed information on that. So if we do click that, it's gonna give us a little more information. We can see achievements, um, which we don't have any in the game yet because we just started this account. And then they'll give you a number listing of how many of these type of achievements that you have. And they'll kind of light up as gold, more like the color you're seeing here. Then you can see summary. So right now we've only played one co-op battle. We have 100% run rates. And this gives you all the details regarding battles played, warships destroyed, average results per battle, most per battle, um, the nations that you're playing, uh, the, the types, so cruiser, um, and then the tier levels of how many battles have you played at each of the tiers. So this is kind of a good way to check in and see more about it uh, yourself. This will continue to expand as you increase uh, further on into the game. Uh, you also have uh, the settings here, also where you exit the game. But in settings, uh, you have some graphics options. Uh, you've got some audio options, uh, your controls. So if you want to control the music in battle, music in ports, um, all these different type of things are all here. So I would recommend spending some time to just kind of read through and go through uh, each of these things, see what you like or may not like. Um, some of these can actually help give you some more information uh, during battle. Um, like, for example, let's see, terrain hit indicator. So if you're going to hit something, you'll get this indicator go on. A collision avoidance system. So if you have this on, the, it will automatically um, navigate your ship away from the rock. Um, I leave mine off just because I'm more of an experienced player and sometimes I like to actually run into an island on purpose. <laughs> um, alternative interface mode full. Uh, enable the alternative battle interface mode may affect game performance. So you have all these things, sensitivity, uh, cross here. So what you're seeing uh, when you choose so that's something uh, you may like to take uh, away as well. If you want to change your crosshairs around. Um, yeah, and so we still need to do two random battles. So the next video that I'll do will actually be doing these two random battles. So then we get uh, further on uh, with increasing our access level. 
So I'm gonna keep the video short as I can for today, but if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you wanna see more. And if you haven't subscribed, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. And if you have questions as we start this series off, let me know in the comments. So until next time, take care.